I just want to tell you that you do the handsome worthy name justice. Don't die on me, Grandfather. There's still so much more in me need to learn. Uh, I need to learn. There's nothing you can do, Murdock. Me and the rest of this village of the extreme elderly will soon be extinct. We're just no match for this damn cold sore virus. Being the only Geratolian under the age of 120, you'll be the only one left. Even Gertie died from the cold sore just yesterday, and he was the strongest of us. Ah, Gertie. As fast as a stream, as sturdy as a house, a very cheaply made house. In this village, untouched by the outside world, I was able to teach you about classical literature, the arts, architecture, different styles of music and dance, things that have been long forgotten in the outside world. I've always felt great pride in that. <coughs> Grandpa, let me get you your medicine. There you go. Murdoch Handsome Worthy, there is nothing left for you here. Go off into the real world and experience things that I refuse to. Things like email, driving a hover 40 miles per hour in the fast lane, and having some sex with a woman. But grandfather, that doesn't make any sense. It's too late to explain my last sentence. I'm dead. <clears throat> No! I'm leaving home for the first time, don't know where I'm going, but I think it's gonna be fun. I got the sun on my face and the wind on my back. I got a six pack of snack packs and a motherfucking dub sack, but there's one thing I'm missing and I know that it's true. I've got no love. But I got you. Fucking got you. Don't have love. But the very fucking least I got you. Got you. Fucking got you. Who? Got you. Wish I could trade you for a stack pack. Got you. The potential some kind of sturdy ladder. Going on here. I can't help but notice your generosity at the Tuesday Yacht Club charity banquet. You're so generous to those little orphans. Now I'd like to repay the favor, yeah. Come back to my place, cheese platter, bottle of wine, plat the foot on, it'll be fine. fine, fine, fine. Sing it with me, baby girl, you know it too. Me and you, sing it with me, baby girl, you know it too. We don't feel too kindly about your kind around here. Jazzy hands. Huh. You call that dance fighting? I was taught dancing from a 160-year-old bedridden geriatric man. This'll be a piece of cake.
My god, what was that? What is happening to us?! Well, it was clearly singing and dancing. But why we all suddenly broke into some whimsical performance is a mystery to me. Oh no, that definitely was not singing and dancing! That's something that I've never experienced before in my life! Of course it was singing and dancing. What the hell do you think it was? No! Singing only consists of poorly crafted rhymes with themes of either bitches, money, or the amount of marijuana smoke or alcohol one could consume all to the beat of computer gen red drum. Dancing is pretty much chopping another's leg to this music. My god, these people, they don't have a clue what's happening to them. I've got to alert the authorities. Oh my goodness! You're crazy. Who are you? I don't like you, but you're crazy. Please, let me explain. Something is happening to everyone, and- No, we don't have time for this. We- Get out of here! We're busy, and we're tired, and- Did- Did you just interrupt me? I'll bury you. I'll bury you! I'll bury you! But, I think I know why. It's the dance. What? What? It's the power of the dance. That's what's happening to everyone. Something is making the world break out in a frenetic song and dance. Impossible. Singing only consists of poorly crafted rhymes with themes of either bitches, money... Of course, the dance. It all makes perfect sense now. This is the last piece of the puzzle. This proves my theory of the extreme zestiness singularity. Frankie, what the hell are you talking about, you little piece of shit?